Hallelujah. Let us together begin to bless the name of the Lord today for his goodness, for his mercies, for his loving kindness. God is good and his mercies endure it forever. Lift your voice, lift your hands wherever you are and just begin to bless his holy name today. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endured forever. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise, Jehovah. We bless your holy name. Thank you for everything that you are to us. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you are doing for us, that you have done and that you will yet do. We have come to say thank you, to appreciate your goodness, your loving kindness. Thank you, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I welcome you to today's Voice of Healing broadcast. And um, first of all, I want to congratulate you for being in touch with your source. God is your source and a river that forgets its source will sooner dry up. But thank God that you are connected to God, your source, the giver of life. Bible says he has given unto us all that pertains to life and godliness, according as his divine power has given unto us all that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, quickly, I'll be sharing the word of God with you. The emphasis today is that you are here for a purpose. God had you in mind. You are not an accident of creation. You are here by divine purpose. Heaven knows that. Interestingly, hell knows that. But it's very, um, it's quite sad that many people do not know this. Or maybe they know it, but they are not acting on it. They are not living their lives like they know that they are here for a purpose. And that's why when distractions come, when sickness comes, diseases come, um, lack of financial flow comes, and all those things, they don't see it as what exactly it is. Let me give you a very clear scenario. Somebody who has the call of God upon his life to be a deliverer of the people in the area of finances, for example, and who had gotten some revelations and began to walk in the truth of the gospel and began to enjoy the blessings of the Lord physically and, you know, prospering financially, and all of a sudden hits a major devastating setback. Of course, the tendency is there for you to think, oh, what's happening? What have I done wrong? Why is, this, why is this happening? What have I not done? What have I done that I shouldn't have done? And things like that. But for a man of purpose, it is very, very important for you. It is expedient that you look at it from a spiritual point of view. Let me say this to you. It is not only when you have done something wrong or left something undone that you face adversities. Many a times you are actually on your path, the right path, doing everything you ought to do, doing all that the Lord will have you do, and yet you get attacked. Yet things happen. Stuff happens. It's not because you have done something wrong. It is because you are doing something right. And that's why the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord God delivers him out of them all. Many a times the afflictions that come to you as a man of purpose or a woman of purpose is to distract you from fulfilling that God-given purpose. 
the devil and his cohorts, they devised various means of trying to rubbish your testimony. They try to bring things your way and, you know, block your path. And if you're not careful, you are soon drawn away. And you're like, oh, what, what, what do I have to show for all the labor of the past years? What do I have to show for all my believing God? Oh, I have taught people this, I've done that, I've said this, I've been there and done that. But now look at me, look at where I'm ending up. I have good news for you. That is not where you're ending up. Where you are now is not where you are ending up. You will get to the other side. Jesus said, let us go to the other side. And as they were going, the storm arose. <laughs> Hallelujah. That which you are going through now is a storm. It has arisen to destroy attract you and debar you from getting to the other side. But I have brought good news to you today. In the name of Jesus, the one who died and rose again and lives forever to intercede for you in heaven, you are getting to the other side. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that pain, that setback, that sickness, that disease, that frustration, that relationship issue, that marriage issue, is only a distraction. Rise against it. Rise above it and move on on destiny path. In the name of the Lord Jesus, today receive grace. He said, he said they appear before him in Zion. They go from strength to strength. Receive strength to go ahead on this journey. Receive strength to go ahead on your journey that God has sent you. Receive grace now. He said to come boldly unto the throne of grace that you might obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Receive grace right now to move ahead. All these things are distractions. Refuse to be distracted. We are not ignorant of the wiles of the devil. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. Rise above this distraction and move on on destiny path. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will get there. In the name of Jesus, remember our anchor scripture on voice of healing is 3 John 2. And it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. That is God's desire for you. Go and enjoy it. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen.